Good morning, everyone. Hi, everybody. John Meadows here on a beautiful Sunday morning in Las Vegas. I dragged Eugene over to the gym with me. He told me he wanted to sleep all day, but we can't have that happen. Not again. Actually, he dra dragged me over. We're I at a battle of poker, poker clubs and strip clubs. <laughs> he dragged yeah. me right out. So we're at LVAC in Henderson. This is a new club. It's massive. It's a massive club. It's somewhere around 100,000 square feet. Lots of awesome equipment. We're gonna do a couple machines here that are pretty unique because you guys know Eugene and I love unique equipment. There's no sense in going to a new gym and doing the same old stuff. So we're gonna have some fun today. We thought we'd uh, uh, have you guys join in, check it out with us. We're going to train back. So what do you think, are you ready to Let's go? Let's get into it, yeah. All Let's right, wake here, up. We, here we go. Let's wake up. Simple stuff, but whenever I get the opportunity to use something that's got this kind of freedom of motion at the grip, I think it is a good opportunity to do so. A lot of machines, like typical lap pull down, even typical like V bars where you're stuck into one plane, they're not necessarily bad or wrong, but you'll always find a lot more comfortable and easier on your wrists and on your elbows when you can allow your grip to rotate to whatever you feel is most comfortable. Because everyone's a little bit different. And none of these machines are necessarily made for your structure. But with these kind of handles, you can make every machine fit your body and whatever your uh, current limitations are. All right, so we've done just kind of three or four sets leading up to our big set. None of them were to failure, none of them were close. And we're going to do uh, one working set to complete failure. Complete failure means good form, so you're not going to see us using bad form. We've got the stock one here, so we're just going to do as many reps as we can. Okay, 11 was the number. If I did a 12th one, it would have been really sloppy. That, as Eugene mentioned, that freedom of motion with the wrist is really good. I really feel it in my back. I can drive my elbows down. That's what you want to think about. Don't think about pulling with your biceps. Think about driving your elbow and squeezing your back. See how he's got a nice little arch in his chest. He's not overarching, it's just a nice subtle arch. He's tight. That's what you want. You don't need a big giant arch, you just need a little one and stay tight. Watch his elbows, he's driving with his elbows. It doesn't look like a curl with his arms. As you can see, he's driving his elbows. Good. All right. I felt good. 48. 49, 50 reps, nah, I'm just kidding. So I really like this grip. It's not neutral, it's not pronated, it's in between. So you get a lot of rhomboid in your middle back and you also start to get those lats cranking. All right, so we've done probably three lead up sets here on this supported uh, row and again we're using this grip right here which is going to give you some rhomboids and lats and we're going to we want to hit failure now so we're looking for anywhere between seven and ten reps if eugene feels like man i want to get more than 10 reps we'll stop and we'll go heavier so the target number is going to be around eight seven's good eight eight's good nine's good somewhere around there for failure with good form so here we go Good. Good. Last one. Right there. That's 
Good. Good. So he got to where he could do about a half a rep. Failure with good form. That's it, stop the set. Alright, so we changed our grip high and wide. We're targeting more rhomboid, lower trap, and rear delt, not as much lat. We're doing a drop set. So Eugene's gonna do what he can do with good form here. Keep on repping. Keep on repping. A couple more. Hit it again, big flex. Rear delts, traps, rhomboids. One more. Let's do one more. Okay, now we're gonna keep repping. Keep squeezing. Good stretch on his rhomboids there. Okay, keep repping, last one. Last one, we'll knock out another four or five here. Two, three, oh. there we go. Four, one more, one more. Come on, five, there we go. There we go, good drop set there. I don't know what he got on his first set, maybe eight to 10 and good drop set, high intensity technique. So just one set here. We didn't do the drop set with the other grip because that grip allows you to be real powerful. So we really want to just kind of maximize heavy weight on that one. Um, so we did one really heavy set there. Now we've switched over. We did one set just to kind of get the feel of it and one real work set. So now, now it's my turn to do a drop set. Here we go. Tight. Again. Uh, uh, one more, one more, one more. Here we go. Take it. Uh, elbows back. Oh, that's it. Oh. We have moved on to trap bar deadlifts. I got to give a shout out to Alico. This is really cool. So, this is the bar. Notice how easy it is to put weight on. Take weight off. We're gonna put some more weight on. See how easy that was? I'm gonna hit a set of five. This is our third set. These feel phenomenal on our lats. Uh, so here we go. On the lats. Awesome, right? All right, so these trap bar deadlifts feel phenomenal. It's right on our lats. It's like it's really nice. I'm not going all the way down because my legs have a tendency to take over when I go down too low. So you'll see me stopping a little bit of shorter one all the way down. But we're basically doing five sets of five. We're not really going to complete failure. We're leaving like one rep in the tank. So this is quite a bit of volume, quite a bit of volume on this. And this is our fifth set. This has been really tough. So here we go. Okay, man, those were tough. Now we moved on to pullovers. Notice where Eugene's pulling up. He's keeping all the tension on his lats right there. Right above eye level. He's getting a perfect range of motion. He's not overstretching. His arms are locked into that position. He's doing all the pulling with his lats. We're gonna hit about three sets of tennis here. Last 
last set here. Don't overstretch. Each set you do, you'll notice you're loosening up. Just let your flexibility come. Don't force the stretch and hurt yourself. Just go where your comfortable range of motion is. And each set you get a little bit looser, but don't push it. You run a little bit of a risk of injuring yourself if you overstretch. So, all right, guys, that's it for back. This is a really well-rounded yeah. back workout. We did the one set to failure with the pull down that allowed us to move our wrist. One set there, and we went to the supported row. Mm. We Two did handles. we did a little bit of a semi-neutral, semi-pronated grip, more for our lats and rhomboids. One kind of hard set, one real hard set. Mm. Did the same thing with the pronated grip for our traps, rear delts. Yeah. Then, uh, and trap bar did. Then we went to the trap bar. We did five sets of five there, and then three sets here. So what do we do? Eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, that's 14 sets. Yeah. That's actually, for hard sets, that's actually quite a bit of volume. Yeah, it's a fair bit. But I mean, those deadlifts weren't like, weren't failure, failure. Yeah. It was just shy of it because you don't want to break down form there where your injury risk starts to creep in. That's right, that's a good point. When you're using an exercise that's complex like that, neither one of us like to do one that ugly rep. They gotta, gotta be perfect. And we may have done 14 sets, but Five sets on the, uh, there and three sets here. Eight of those sets weren't to failure. Mm. And a couple of the sets on the row weren't to failure. So really, if you looked at it, we did maybe three, three, or four. three or four sets of true failure. So some people would look at our workout and they'd say, man, Eugene, you guys just did 20 sets. Somebody else might look at it and go, no, you didn't, you did three sets. So what do we do, high volume or low volume? I don't know. Yeah, all, all, all the volume, everything. We did all the volume. I don't all know, but I know it felt good. That's a good workout. All right, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Make sure you follow Eugene on Instagram. And uh, we got all kinds of it. We just did a whole nother series of videos. So keep your eyes open on the channel. Make sure you support Eugene on his Instagram. And we'll catch you later.